Garrett here with Boats.net. Today we're going to be doing an oil service on our 2016 Mercury 20 horsepower outboard motor. Really simple procedure, all we have to do is lift it up, drain the oil and replace the oil filter. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alright guys, this is a really easy job to do, so I'm only going to rate it as a 1 on the skill level. Now the tools you're going to need are a 16 millimeter socket, a 3 8 ratchet, a 65 millimeter oil filter wrench, and a torque wrench. Now for the parts, you can find them online at boats.net, and there we also have diagrams for you to look at. That way that gives you an exploded view of how everything's put together and it'll give you a good idea of where to start. So once you get your parts and your tools together, we can get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the engine up so we can drain the oil. We're going to take this lever, pull it down, lift it all the way up, just like that. Got our 14 millimeter socket and we're going to actually, we're going to remove the drain bolt. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put the drain bolt back in it and actually tilt the motor down yet again to let some more of the residual oil drain to the bottom of the foot. Okay, we're gonna let that set for just a few more minutes and let the oil drain to the foot again, and then we'll lift it back up and drain it again. Okay, that should be long enough. We'll lift it back up. Okay, now that we've got all the oil drain out of the, out of the outboard, we're going to put the drain plug back in. And we're actually going to torque this to 17 foot-pounds. Okay, let's let the motor back down and take the cowl off and we can tackle the oil filter. Okay, let's turn this thing around so I can let you see the oil filter. All right, let's take the cowling off. Right, and a good time to change your oil is about every 100 hours or so. That's what Mercury recommends. All right, before we take the oil filter off, I'm going to take a rag. We're going to stuff it underneath the filter to catch any excess oil that may drain out. And this oil filter takes a 65 millimeter wrench. Now when you take this oil filter off, you want to make sure that this gasket did not stick to the side of the engine because that can happen from time to time and if you don't catch it, the oil filter will leak when you install it. Okay, now that we've got our new oil filter here, we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to put a very thin coat of oil on the gasket itself that makes removing it a lot easier on your next oil service. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this down until the, the gasket makes contact with the engine. Once it does, then we're going to give it another, an additional three-quarter turn. Now I'm going to turn it back around and let's fill it up. All right, you're going to need two quarts of oil because this engine requires 1.1 quarts. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour our first quart in and then check our level. Now before we check the level, I actually need to start the engine up and let it idle for about five minutes or so. Then cut it off, then we'll check our level. All right, now that we've let our engine idle for at least five minutes, let's go ahead and pull the dipstick, wipe it off, and check our oil level. When you push it in, you want to make sure you push it in all the way till it bottoms out. Okay, if you can tell here that we're just barely touching on the bottom of the dipstick. Mercury wants this right in the, this is the low, medium, and high range, but they do say do not fill it to the high range. You want to fill it towards the medium range, which is on your center dot. 
We're going to add that extra 0.1 quart that they're talking about. All right, let's pull our dipstick and check it again. And we are definitely in the medium range now here, which is exactly where we want to be. All right, let's put our fill cap back on and then our cowling. All right, that wraps the job up. It's really that simple. Listen, if you need any parts, find us online at boats.net. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. So until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.